So yeah, so welcome. And um, this is the webinar for eight ways to start your business or launch it. Whatever lingo that you want to use, you can use. Um, it's kind of like launch is like the hot word in the industry right now, but that doesn't mean that you have to use it. Um, I like startup because it's the name of my business. Kind of judgy that way, I guess. See my sign? If every day is a success, you can't help but get rich. So that's what I want to help you do. Create a life where every day is a success. And only you can determine what a success is. Because everybody's different that way, right? Everybody's different. And so um, when I'm working with lots of people and talking to them, I find that there is a lot of similarities in problems out there. A lot of people tell me that they don't have time to start their business. And um, because they have a family, they have kids, they have um, homeschooling, the new world, right? And, um, or they're working full-time jobs. And it's really, it really is about like having the time for themselves and yet alone the time to start a business. So that pains me because I want women especially, but everybody, um, to feel like they can create the life that they want to live. And um, regardless of you know, how busy you are, we can make this work. I believe we can make it work. Why? Because I made it work. I got laid off last summer um, unexpectedly. My job was to teach people how to start businesses. So I've been doing this for a long time, you guys, a long time. And I've helped hundreds of people start businesses. And time has always been a factor of how to start a business. But um, so when I got laid off, it was like, I need money. I got to live. My kids got to live. School fees like eeks, right? And um, so I started my coaching business almost exactly a year ago. Um, I registered my business on September 1st. And um, so yeah, almost exactly a year ago. And I got my first client in October. And so I want to teach you how to do that. And I have um, taught so many people very strategic things on how to start a business. Like, yes, you need to get your license. You need to get a URL. You need to get a domain name. You need to get insurance. Um, all those kind of typical boring things that people always forget about because you have a business idea and you just think, I'm going to start selling. I'm going to start selling it. I'm going to start selling it. Right. But there are some logistical things that you do have to get done to get your business started. So, um, yeah, so that where the overwhelm comes in, where it's like, eeks, there's so many things I got to do. What do I all need to do? Overwhelming as it is. Um, and then in what order do I do them in? And am I forgetting something? Um, and oh my God, there's so much to do. Like, I feel you, feel you, been there. Still started my business in 30 days and got a client in less than 60. And so I want to help you do this. So that's why I started the zero to 60 program. It's a fast start challenge. So in zero to 60, it's kind of like the race car, boom, right? We go super fast and um, to get you started, started and getting clients at the same time. Super exciting. So I want to share with you the eight steps that I help um, or that I teach to help you keep the overwhelm down and keep the success rate up of you starting your business and getting clients. And yet all the while creating a life that energizes you, that makes you feel happy, and that makes you love your life. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. So um, first of all, um, how I do business is that it's all through build, measure, learn. So build your business, start, like just start selling stuff, measure it, learn from it, and you kind of keep going in this infinity sign. So build, measure, learn. It's based on the Lean Startup by Eric Rise, And um, it's great. It works well. It encourages you that, yeah, you can get out there. You can start selling. 
you can start making money in your business now. You don't need to wait, okay? And so that's kind of the method that I go on. And um, so, yeah, so, but I broke it, broke it down into eight steps. So I'm gonna take you through those eight steps now. So grab a pen, my friend, grab a pen. Alrighty, so first thing we're gonna do is we need to create a roadmap. So we need to create a map for you, okay? So everybody's gonna be different. It goes from where you're starting now to where your destination is. So this is your measure of success. I should get in camera view. This is your measure of success over here and you're starting over here. And so what is the road that's gonna take you from this point to this point that works for you? Okay, every one of my clients has a different roadmap. Like I swear, everyone's got a different roadmap because everybody's got different schedules and everyone's got different lives and everyone has different businesses. And so we need to find and create the roadmap that works for you. And um, yeah, because that's the road that you're gonna take to your version of success. And while we're doing that, we're gonna think about like, what does it really mean to be the queen of your business? Some people like to say the CEO of your business, but um, I just resonate more with queen because I'm a queen. I'm going for the sporty spice look today, by the way, the sporty spice look. Matching ponytail with the sports bra. On it, right? Mm -hmm. You get the style when you work with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what it's like being a queen in my life is that I can wear whatever I want that makes me feel good. And like, dude, a high ponytail just gives me energy for some reason. I don't know why. I'm 42. Whatever makes me feel great. So, but what does it look like to you to be the king, the queen, um, the CEO, however, the boss babe of your business? So what does that look like and what does it feel like? What does that feel like to you? Hey, so just think about that. I was talking with a client like just before this call and um, it's like, man, that takes some journaling. Yeah, it does. So that's okay. And that's why we kind of work through this in a long step. So that's one creating the roadmap and defining what it's like to be the queen of your business or the pilot, the driver, that works. Driver kind of goes with this whole roadmap kind of deal, right? Okay, two, who is your ideal client that's going to pay you money, right? Who's that ideal client that's gonna pay you money? And let's do some research on them, that whole market research kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, 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 fun time. So what does that all mean? So your ideal client is someone that you like to work with, you know, like maybe you love to work with seniors and seniors who have a little bit of money, who like to travel, who like to do whatever. And so maybe that's your target audience because you like that demographic or maybe you like teenagers and um, you have great scrunchies that are gonna revolutionize the teenage life. <laughs> and um, so it's important to know who your ideal target market is so that you can best target so that you can be where they are because you can like if you're going to target teenagers you're going to be on different social media challenge challenge uh, oh my goodness channels than you are if you were going to market to seniors am i right yeah so then what i want you to do is do some market research i want you to ask 10 to 20 people, three very important questions. And I didn't say this on my webinar this morning. So I'll give you the three questions that you should ask when you're doing market research. Okay, what is the main problem that you are experiencing right now? Okay, so that's question number one. What is the main problem that you're experiencing right now? Two, how are you currently solving that problem? Okay, so let's say my problem is that, um, okay, it's dinner time here. So my problem is that I hate cooking. I hate cooking food. So currently my solution is sending the, the teenager to go buy Papa John's pizza and um, I just throw something on the barbecue super fast. So that's my current solution. And then the third question is how much would you be willing to pay? That you can give, get an idea of how much money people are willing to pay for what you can offer, okay? So that you know that you're selling 
the right solution to the right people who have that problem because business is all about solving problems okay three we're going to talk about time management yeah because time is a serious issue with like all my clients um <laughs> right you're either working a full-time job or you got a family or you want to have your own life <laughs> and so um yeah, let's manage your time. I'm a big believer of not working 80 hours a week. No way, Jose. I am a believer of working 20 hours a week because that's fun to me. I love that. I would love to go to the gym for an hour. Can't go longer anymore, thanks COVID. And um, I like to read a lot. I like to have dance parties a lot. And um, you know, I like to get out of town and do things with my kids. So I have a life outside of my business. So why do I want to spend 90% of my life um, in my business when there's lots of life outside? I want my business to help support me, not for me to live to support my business. Hope that makes sense. Number four, let's talk about your irresistible offer. You're irresistible. That's the wrong song, Chas. That's the wrong song. Yeah, you get, you get music when you listen to me, okay? Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> anyway, so your irresistible offer is what are you selling? Who are you selling it to? And for how much, right? Super easy. What are you selling? How are you changing my life? Tell me, you know? Now, while you're doing that, I want you to think of like, how are you gonna stand out? So I work with lots of coaches and lots of virtual assistants. And it's like, there's lots of us out there, lots, right? So how, what is my message that I'm portraying that's different than the next person? I'm saying you can have a successful business by working 20 hours a week. And people are like, mm -mm, no, you can't. And I'm saying that you can only spend one hour a day on social media and still get clients and people are like mm -mm, no you can't i'm like mm, yes you can it's called 2020 teach you that later but anyhow so what makes you stand out with your irresistible offer so really how are you changing someone's life right that's the message that really gets missed a lot of the times a lot of times people think of like okay everyone else is posting this so i'll post this kind of stuff and, um, but that doesn't help you stand out now, does it? No, you're just blending in. And then like your customer's gotta be like, who's she talking to? You know, why do I need to buy from that person when I can buy from that person, right? Step five, your lead magnet. So business, marketing funnel, marketing funnel goes like this, okay? People need to know who you are before they buy from you. People need to like and trust you before they buy from you and then they'll buy from you. So I think of it like dating, right? You got to find somebody to date and then, you know, you got to figure out if you like that person. So you go on dates with them, right? And then you decide to commit or hook up or whatever, you know? And so you don't necessarily marry the first person that you meet on your first date, right? There's kind of a process of getting to know each other more. So one of the things that helps attract people, kind of like Tinder and plenty of fish, <laughs> it's like your lead magnet is called. So let's create a lead magnet that captures people's attention and draws them into the funnel. All right, that's step five, figuring that stuff out. Step six. So first of all, before we go into step six, I just want to let you know that these aren't always linear things. Like you'll work on these things in circles, right? Like build, measure, learn. It's not like, okay, step one's done. Step three. Oh, I got my can management down pat. Now I can move on. You know, life doesn't work that way, right? So just be graceful for yourself to understand that it is a cycle and that you work on multiple things at once even though my message is to work on one thing at a time, and that goes into my time management, is to focus 
and do the one thing. That book like revolutionized my life. It was called The One Thing by Gary Keller. Fantastic. One thing that moves your business ahead today. What is one thing that you can do today to move your business ahead? Fantastic book. Anyway, so six is getting all your systems in place. This is like, how are people paying you? Um, what's your email system like? Um, yeah, let's like make sure you have your insurance, your, your um, business license, your name registered, um, getting your website up and landing pages up and getting that funnel created if you want a funnel. And um, so let's get all those systems, the back end, the operational stuff, the banking, get a bank account set up. Make sure you have your, you're registered for your taxes. You know, you got to pay business taxes, people. Got to pay business taxes. My kids need to go to school. So we all need to pay our business taxes, okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Anyways, so let's get all those systems set up, okay? Then I want to teach you how to manifest, how to like change your mindset so that you start to attract people into your funnel and then you don't have to go hunting for people. Like who's got time to go hunting? I don't have time to hunt. No. So I want to help you develop a strategy that helps attract people to you because you are worthy of being attracted to. You're hot is what I'm trying to say. You're hot. <laughs> anyway, so manifesting is about like putting the ask out there. What's your intention? What do you want to accomplish? Okay. And then you set out some actions that need to be taken for that to happen. And then you got to surrender the outcome, my friends, surrender, and then be grateful for anything and everything that comes your way, because we are given a lot of things that we should be grateful. And when you are grateful, you are more connected to the universe. And when you're connected to the universe, only good things happen, people only good things let me tell you finally i want to teach you how to launch okay so let's boom launch zero 060 launch okay so there's actually a strategy for this so that you don't just like hey i have an idea to sell cookies boom let's just throw it out there so it's a little bit different um like it's sim like i want you to start selling faster like fast but let's have a strategy behind who we're selling it to, what are we selling, and, um, and then going through the sales process, okay? Because people still need to know, like, and trust you before they buy from you, right? So we got to develop the strategy behind that. And that, my friends, is the zero to 60 Fast Start Challenge, which is over eight weeks and in eight steps. Simple, 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 right? But what I want you to believe is that you can have the success that you want. Like the how to's are just the bottom line. That's just the big, that's just the, that's the easy part. The hard part is for you to believe that you deserve to have the life that you want. You deserve to do what you want. You deserve to have riches. You deserve money. You deserve freedom. So I want you to believe that. Without the belief, it will never happen. And so I really want that to, to sink in. So if nothing else happens today, I want you to believe that you can create the business that you want as long as you believe it can happen. No belief and it won't happen, right? If you believe that you're always gonna be a failure, you always will. If you believe that you will never be successful, you never will. But if you believe that you can be successful and you see yourself as a successful person, it will happen, okay? I promise you, promise you, promise you, promise you. And so, yeah. So in the zero to 60 fast start challenge, we're going to cover these eight points in one-on-one -on -one coaching every week. You'll have access to my Voxer. 
which is kind of like texting. We're going to do that like as much as you want. I always call it as like having a mom in your back pocket. So yeah, I'm a mom. I'm an awesome mom. I've always been like the mom to my kids' friends and stuff like that. And, um, and so I look at mom in a business sense as like, yeah, you guys are all my kids. I'm here to help you and nurture you and love you. But it's like, I'm there for M is motivator. So I want to help you find that intrinsic thing that motivates you from the inside out so that you don't have to watch motivational videos all day, right? Who's got time for that? I love it, but don't have time for it. O, observer. So I'm the person on the outside that looks in and it's like, and asks the questions. It's like, ooh, did you think of that? I saw this going on. It's like, what do you think of that? Like, how does that make you feel? So as an observer, I ask the questions. And then the last one is the method maker. So that's the strategy part of things where um, I help develop the strategies or the roadmap um, to help you get to your destination. And that's what's so fun, so fun. And so, yeah, so the zero to 60 program, I only have room for five people because as a mom, I go all in, all in, honey, all in. And so all in, I will help you with landing pages. I'll help you with your email marketing. I'll help get all that stuff up for you and with you. So that's like outside that coaching realm. That's more like the consultant and the mentor and the doer, kind of the partner. And so, yeah, so I go all in. So I can only take five people and it's only available Wednesday night. It is off the market because we are starting September 1st. Yay! September 1st. Because by the October, end of October, you're going to have clients. How exciting. Clients. Money, 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 money. Gotcha. <laughs> and like, how exciting is that? That in like two months from now, you can be having clients coming to you saying, can I give you my money, please? Can I give you my money? And so I think that's exciting. And I want you to be excited of the possibilities that are out there for you. And um, if you're not excited, I can't be excited. So I want you to be excited. And so a coach isn't here to be your cheerleader, but I do be a cheerleader a little bit sometimes. Be like, suck it up, sunshine. You can do this, baby. You can do it, okay? You believe you can do it, you can do it. So if you are interested in the zero to 60 fast start challenge, it is up in my bio, or I will post it in the link on the Facebook. And yeah, you have till Wednesday night because then I'm not doing it again until the end of October. And so, yeah, if that does feel like hey, that's a little bit tight, that's a little bit like too rushed from the chest, too rushed, then we can spread it over into the six month program. Okay. So you can start your business for $277 a month. And yeah, I can't wait to see you as like, your successful version of yourself and you might be almost there and that's what's so exciting you might be almost there you just need you just might need a little tweak to help open up the doors okay doors open doors close land of possibilities you can create whatever you believe in okay and that's how i want to end today you can create whatever you believe in and join my zero to 60 fast start challenge okay okay anyways i'm gonna go have dinner now because um that's what we do at six o'clock here in alberta is that we eat we eat meat anyways any questions feel free to ask send me an email find me on instagram just send me a dm send me a message on facebook and i am more than happy to answer any questions there or if you need to book a call please do i am here to help my purpose in life is to help people live their purpose and to create the life that they want to live. So peace out. Love you. Any questions, feel free to ask and we'll chat.